Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where we have a double feature of Nancy Myers films on tap. Myers, the Oscar-nominated writer and director known for telling grown-up stories on the screen, is the first guest on the new podcast I'm hosting called Talking Pictures, made in conjunction with the Warner Brothers Discovery streaming service Max. Podcast launches this Tuesday, January 16th. It's me in conversation with filmmakers discussing not only their work, but the movies they love, the movies they remember most, and the movies that shaped who they are as filmmakers. Nancy Myers, for example, adores Cary Grant. TCM produced a thoroughly engaging video with Nancy where she shares her unbridled enthusiasm for Grant as a movie star and as an actor. You can find the video on TCM's YouTube page where Nancy was part of our ongoing series of directors recommending films each month. Nancy also has fond and frightening memories, as I suspect many of you do, of seeing The Exorcist for the first time in 1973. There's more on that story you can hear on our podcast. Born and raised in Philadelphia, Myers earned an Oscar nomination for her first screenplay. She wrote it with her soon-to-be husband, Charles Shire, in the late 70s. It became the 1980 hit comedy Private Benjamin, starring Goldie Hawn. Myers and Shire co-wrote four more films together in the 1980s, including Irreconcilable Differences, Protocol, Jumpin' Jack Flash, and the 1987 comedy We Have Next. Produced by Myers, directed by Shire, Baby Boom. In Nancy Myers' own words, it's a movie about someone who never planned on motherhood. Diane Keaton plays a high-powered New York business exec whose career means everything to her. Her life is unexpectedly turned upside down when she inherits a baby girl from a distant, distant cousin. When Baby Boom premiered in 1987, New York Times critic Vincent Camby compared it to a classic 1939 comedy, Bachelor Mother, with Ginger Rogers, David Niven, Charles Coburn. Similarities weren't accidental. Myers and Shire often drew inspiration from classic comedies from Hollywood's golden age, notably a number of Cary Grant movies, and Billy Wilder's The Apartment. Nancy keeps a copy of the screenplay for the apartment on her desk all the time. It's right there whenever she writes. Nancy also has some great Billy Wilder stories, including working with him on the Baby Boom script. You can hear those stories and more on our new podcast. Again, it's called Talking Pictures. It'll be available Tuesday. This movie happens right now from 1987, also with Harold Ramis, Sam Wanamaker, Sam Shepard, and James Spader. Baby Boom. Diane Keaton's performance in Baby Boom earned her positive reviews, and after finishing the film, she said it was the most fun she had ever had on a set. She especially loved working with the twin girls who took turns playing the baby in the film. For a couple of months before shooting began, Keaton spent time getting to know the babies, and by the time cameras started rolling, she knew how to coax the right reactions out of them in each scene. I'm a big baby myself, she later said. I think we sort of understood each other. Writer and producer Nancy Myers added that Keaton seemed to enjoy it as much as the babies did. As I mentioned before the film, Nancy Myers is the first guest on our new podcast, Talking Pictures, which launches this Tuesday, January 16th. I talked to Nancy uh, about her films, her classic movie inspirations, the top-tier actors she has worked with in the film she's directed, Meryl Streep, Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, Kate Winslet, among others, and what she thinks can make or break a picture. Coming up. Our Nancy Myers double feature continues with another comedy starring Diane Keaton, this time opposite Steve Martin. It's a much more quickly paced remake of a 1950 comedy starring Spencer Tracy and Elizabeth Taylor from 1991. Father of the Bride is next on TCM. Next on TCM, Father of the Bride. Then a silent Sunday night with Harold Lloyd. And later, The Golden Coach. Take a ride with TCM tonight.